So once you have been set up, everything should be green, means you're ready to go into your run screen. So if you just hit your start task, little top running mine, top left. Again, if you've got steering, just acknowledge that. And now you're on your guidance screen. So everything down the right hand side is your working menus. So the first one you come to is your line creation. Um, in here, there's several options that you can you can do. So we have the basic straight A B. So with that one, you mark your A point, drive at least 10 meters, mark your B point, and it just puts a straight line between the two points and replicates that across the field. Next one is an A and a heading. So this you mark the point you're at and then you can put in an angle. So zero being north, 90 east, 180 south. So you can work it a specific way if you, if you want to. And the next one you have the free form. So in that one you start recording, you drive across the field, at the other side of the field you stop recording. Whatever path you've taken, whether it be an S bend or a curve, it'll replicate that curve across the field. And then you have the advanced functions. So with the advanced function, we have the headland options. So basically as you drive around, you can generate a number of circuits around the field. And at the same time, you can create an, a an infill, which is a basic AB line. And then also there is this pivot option here. But again, we generally don't use that over in Ireland um, because it's more in the countries which have the hot climates with the pivot irrigation. Also in your line creation, you can record a boundary. So the, once you record an outer boundary, that will give you a total field size along the bottom here. It will give you an area total for your field once there's a boundary created. So the first thing we're going to do we're going to start recording a boundary. So when you record a boundary, it asks whether you're going to go to the left of the machine or the right of the machine or the center. So depending on which way around the field you're going or what you're wanting to do for your application. In this case, we're going to go left because we're driving clockwise around the field. So I'm going to just hit that and start that recording and that will flash away. At the same time, I'm going to do an advanced headland one so I'm going to generate four circuits and create a straight AB at the same time and I'm going to set my guidance line recording as well and at that point it brings the A up so when you start driving around the field there now you can see we have the outer boundary and we also have our headland path being recorded So as you're driving around the field, when you get to the straight edge that you want to record your main AB line on, when you're driving along that edge and you're happy with position, just hit your A. Drive at least 10 meters and your B will appear. So depending on the side of the field, whether it's completely straight or it curves away is where you want to mark your B, depends in the field you're in. So once you get back round to the start position, the boundary should auto-complete and then it will generate your headland passes. Like you can see. It also gives you an area total there for the field. Like in this particular instance, you can see the corners have been kind of smoothed out there. Um, and that is normally done in your settings. You go to your settings. In your patterns one, you have curve smoothing, 
which is a feature on these screens so any sharp radiuses it will smooth them out if that's turned on and you can set the smooth turn radius in here I think the smallest you can set is 5 meters so again whilst we were driving around the field we also created our main infill AB line so to swap between the patterns within that field it's just the second button down on the right hand side so if I press that you can see it's loading up the AB so as we drive into the centre of the field there it will give us our first AB line